I'm going to take a look at the auto HDR on the Sony A6000 and A5100 compact mirrorless cameras. To turn on auto HDR, go to the menu right here, the first tab, page 4. Hit enter. The auto HDR is the third one down, and right now it is grayed out. That is because I'm currently using a setting that the auto HDR does not like. I'm going to try to turn it on anyway. Scroll down, hit enter. Here it gives me a message of what it does not like. I'm currently shooting RAW and I need to switch to JPEG. I'll hit enter. Go to the menu. I'll go to quality settings. You can either use fine or standard. I'll choose fine. Here are some other settings where you cannot use Auto HDR. Superior Auto, you can't use Auto HDR. Intelligent Auto, you can't use Auto HDR. Scene Selection, you can't use Auto HDR. Sweet Panorama, you can't use Auto HDR. You also can't use Auto HDR when using multi-frame noise reduction. I'll go to Intelligent Auto and try to select Auto HDR. Go to Menu and it is completely grayed out. You can't use Auto HDR. I'll go back to my favorite mode which is Aperture Priority. Let's go back to Auto HDR and turn it on. The third one down is Auto HDR and it is now not grayed out. Go down to it. Here we can set the exposure difference between the photos by hitting left or right on the wheel. The exposure difference, also known as uh, EV or exposure value, the difference between 0 EV and 1 EV is that the 1 EV is twice as much exposed as the 0 EV. I'm going to set mine to 6 EV. The Sony A6000 and A5100, when using Auto HDR, will take three photos and combine them into one photo. By setting my exposure difference to 6 EV, the camera will take one photo at a negative 3 EV, one photo at 0 EV, or also known as optimal exposure, and the third photo at a positive 3 EV. Thus, the difference between a negative 3 and a positive 3 is 6 so six EVs. Okay let's go outside and take a couple of photos using the Auto HDR. It is the golden hour. I'm using a mini tripod. The first shot is not an Auto HDR but a normal photo using aperture priority mode, flexible spot focus, and a two second timer. Okay that was the first shot. Now switch to Auto HDR. There is always some idiot walking in front of your camera. Unfortunately, the self-timer does not work when using Auto HDR. There, I just press the shutter button and it will take three shots automatically, but not in rapid succession. After the third shot, you will see this message. I'll stop the video here so you can see the message. When you see this message, this is how you know the camera has finished taking three shots and then it's processing the image. Let's take a look at the photos. The photo at the top is the first shot. The bottom is the Auto HDR photo. Not much of a difference. The Auto HDR photo looks flat. Here's another way to see the difference between the two photos. Let's take another photo at a different location. The first photo is a regular photo using aperture priority, flexible spot focus, and the two second self timer. I'm still using a uh, mini tripod. Now switch to Auto HDR. I'm still using an exposure difference of 6 EV. Let's take a look at the photos. The upper photo is the first regular shot and the bottom is the Auto HDR photo. In this case the Auto HDR photo looks better. That's it. That's Auto HDR. I don't think I'm going to use this feature on the camera. If 
I want to do a HDR photo, I will use the bracket method and create the HDR in post-processing using uh, HDR software. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel.